Alright, what's going on everyone? So today I decided I'd get into a really a different style of video. Now I've done so many videos really similar to this topic, but I actually want to go a bit more in depth because today I'm really going to be getting into a video on three things you can really use and it really be easily used to just organize your hypebeast clothes. Now obviously hypebeast, sometimes organizing our clothes can get messy, keeping a nice room can be hard, and obviously I'm actually okay at doing that, pretty good at organizing my stuff. So today I'm really going to share really a couple things I use to organize my hypebeast room. Maybe a couple tips also I'll throw in there, but really I'm going to be showing you guys more or less objects I use to organize my these clothes. It's pretty simple. None of them are actually all too expensive. So if this video says like they're cheap things, that is true. These things do not cost much and they're actually really easy to use to organize your IP stuff. And obviously I'll throw in different tips and stuff. I've already said that, but anyways, be sure you guys do subscribe if you are new. It'd be highly appreciated. Sports been amazing. Obviously just since I've come back from camp, it's really just been something magical. So I just can't thank you all enough. So if you're new, subscribe. Highly appreciate it. You know how to do in this channel. Supreme Bait Palace. Hypey stuff like this. And anyways, hope you guys will enjoy this video. Let's shoot for like 10 likes in this video. That'd be great. And anyways, Let's get started. All right, so the first thing or things I really want to use as an example may sound a bit odd to you guys for organizing your hypebeast room and clothes. Is actually right here is cardboard boxes. Now, when it comes to organizing your hypebeast clothes, things can get really messy and it's hard to keep up. But here's a little tip. So let's say you get a couple cardboard boxes. You can organize smaller tees and stuff in this one, or depending on brands, you maybe get two or three of them for different brands and organize your accessories and clothes in this smaller box, like tees. And obviously, when you start getting like sweaters, bogos, wherever these bigger items, you can organize them in bigger boxes. So basically, here's my idea: is organizing your clothes. And cardboard boxes like if you don't can't, can't get a shelf or something else or something that's actually I'm going to talk about next which is very similar is actually containers which I'll talk about really soon so basically these it's just like sort of like a cheap thrill for containers you can stick your stuff in them obviously if you want to keep them in good condition or you just don't want to really see them which I really wouldn't get you can just close them up like this so that's definitely a heavy recommendation I have right here is if you can't get shelves can't get containers it's really a cheap thrill that you can use you can start stacking them up and they're sort of like containers if you organize them a certain way maybe you start using like pull out uh, cardboard boxes and sort of form your own DIY shelf. That's a cool idea right there. So really when coming to organizing your hypebeast clothes and accessories and stuff like that, cardboard boxes is definitely an easy thing. Okay, so idea number two, or really thing number two, is containers. Obviously this is a bit small. Obviously this could be used to like organize accessories and stuff, but I wouldn't recommend this for tees. Obviously you want something bigger, maybe to organize your sneakers. You guys can hear people talk about these as containers. This is not an expensive container made by Sterlite. Obviously you probably find this for a better deal at Ikea or really find it at like any container store. Obviously I have a couple in Charlotte just really, really just stores for containers. So I go to those, sometimes pick up some containers to organize the stuff because that's important. So definitely this is another recommendation. So just an example size. Obviously you'd want something a bit bigger that maybe stack up to like five feet or so around that. And obviously you want to have bigger shelves to hold maybe like sweaters or hold a couple items at once. So when it comes to using accessories though, this is definitely a great one. Obviously it's full of like pencils and different stuff. But really getting into it, this is really just an example. You'd want to use containers because these are definitely something cheap and easy to use to organize your room. Obviously you can decorate them. They look nicer. Cover them like stickers, whatever they are and they obviously look nicer so basically when coming like really organizing your hypebeast clothing and stuff like that is definitely something I'd recommend right here is containers. Okay so a final really two things I want to go over as a final recommendation right here we have a bait bag and we also have a supreme bag so basically when it comes to using your bags right here your hypebeast bag these are definitely great for organization right here so really been looking at this bag you can stick multiple accessories clothes or whatever you want this is a gigantic bag so it can be used for maybe bogos or whatever and this is definitely easy to use to organize your stuff I actually once you're done, let's say you could fold it like this, and obviously once you're done with that process, then you could just simply get it like this, and you could pack it up here, and then obviously that looks neat. So really when getting into it, I think these bags are definitely good to use for organization. Another thing I've used many times as an example, you also have right here the metal shelf. I've talked about this so many times. It's literally like 25, 30 bucks. It's not a bad deal. It's definitely worth it. Obviously, you can look, I have all my clothes right here. Obviously, this isn't too neatly organized right here. That'll get fixed though, because I'll probably get some containers and stuff. Containers I recommended earlier for accessories and stuff like that. But really getting into it, you can also use like bait bags to organize like again accessories smaller tees whatever it is and then the giant supreme bag you can use for like bogos or whatever it is if you want to organize them like that that's cool obviously you can make many custom things out of supreme bags which i may make a video on what to do with supreme bag and bait bags if you guys want me to do that just tell me down below in the comments that'd be great and really getting into it this is definitely something you can use bag so really when getting into it again it's definitely something i'd recommend something i'd use right here shelves bags they all work out 
and it's definitely my final recommendation for hype beasts and using these things to organize their clothes. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. It means a lot if you guys take your time to stop by, watch my videos every day. Obviously, coming up with video ideas is not the easiest thing, and you know, I thought this would be a cool video to really get out with, and obviously organizing like hype beast clothes, because there's a difference between organizing really everything else that's hype beast and organizing your clothes specifically. So I made a video on it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed it, like the video, shoot for 15 likes, that'd be awesome. You guys have been incredible lately. If you're new, subscribe. You know I do in this channel, Supreme Bait Palace, all that other stuff. That's what I do in this channel. Subscribe to that. I highly appreciate it. And anyways, thank you all for watching this video, and I hope to see you all as a new subscriber in my next one.